Hey guys, just wanted to go over a couple of scriptures from 1 John. It's going to be chapter 2 and it's going to be following off of uh, verses 1 and 2 um, from the video that I did yesterday. So I'm going to read verses 3 to about 6. So starting from verse 3, 1 John chapter 2 verse 3, it says, Now by this we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. And that's, that's, that's knowing him and, and being able to recognize other uh, by the fruit. For we can ID, ID who belongs to who. Because anybody can say, oh, I belong to Christ. I know Christ. But does their life and what, they, what, they, um, what their fruit, does it line up with what they're saying? See, what Christ said in Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 to 20, he says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Verse 16 says, you will know them by their fruit. Um, so it's IDing um, what the Lord commanded us, what He expects from us. Now walking in love, understanding what love is, understanding to walk just as Christ walked. But anybody can say that, oh, I, I belong to Christ, I walk with with Christ, and then turn around and are living in sin, bound to sin, or hating, and, and um, doing something that completely goes against who Christ is and what Christ commands us. So... It's identifying them by their fruits. And in verse 3 says, Now this we know by him if we keep his commandments. So it's keeping his commandments and we know by him. So verse 4 it says, He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So that's another reason how we can understand fruit, looking at people's lives by their fruit. Because anybody can, can preach the gospel, anybody can preach Christ, but does their fruit, does does their life, does the works that they do line up with what they're saying? Um, and I just wanted to go over, you know, what Christ said, the greatest commandment, and what he commands us to do. I know a lot of us already know, but it's important because this is what he told us right before as the greatest commandments. I mean, obviously you keep the Father's commandments. Do not honor your mother and father. Do not steal. Do not kill. Um, but the father's commandments is to also do the will of the son. And the son's commandments, in John chapter 14, verse 15, he says that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And that's how we can identify if somebody truly loves Christ and says they belong to Christ, they will keep his commandments. And um, the commandments... In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40, his commandments, Jesus said, Love the Lord God with all of your heart, all of your soul, and with all of your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So it's love and it's understanding what love is. We now have a moral standard, a basis of what true love is because Christ showed us what that true love is. And he says to love your neighbor as yourself and how he has loved us and that's dying for us and, and putting them in front of yourself to serve them, to, to love them like he loved to understand now what true love is, you're able to do so. And those are the greatest commandments. So in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, it says that God is love so that we'll know who belongs to God by who's keeping his commandments, who truly knows what love is, who truly understands what love is, who truly is walking in love. That's what it's about. That's what his commandments is. And the Lord says, you'll know him by the fruit. And if you love me, you'll keep my commands. Um... So going back to verse 4, it says, He who says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. It says, But whoever does keep his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. So the love of God can be perfected in us if we just keep and abide in his word. By this we know we are in him. So it's identifying the, the fruits, knowing who truly walks in love, knowing who walks just as Christ, not walks as Christ, but walks just as him. Uh, a like him, we can see Christ through him. Um, that's that's understanding the tr the fruit and understanding that you can see and it lines up with who Christ is. Um, in verse six, it says, "But he who says he abides him him ought himself to walk just as he walked." So, not walking as Christ, but walk just as Christ did. And um, in Matthew chapter sixteen, verse twenty four, Christ says he. 
he Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. And that's daily. And um, so walking just as he walked, and that's loving others, serving others, dying for the world, and putting, not saying that you're going to die for the world, but putting others in front of himself. He, he showed us what true love is, showed us a way to the Father, showed us our value, our meaning, our purpose, showed us how to truly love. So it's walking just as he walked and then be prepared to pick up your cross and die for him because he says that if you want to follow me, if you want to be my disciple, you must pick up your cross. You must deny yourself, pick up your cross and then follow me. So it's all about identifying fruits and uh, knowing who belongs to who and walking in righteousness because we know that in the last days the Lord God says that many will come in my name and claiming to be me so claiming to be Christ but also coming in the name of Christ and uh, it's being able to identify them as their fruits and seeing knowing who God is and that's why it's important to truly know who God is that way you won't be tossed around like the wind and you won't fall for everybody out there and you'll be able to identify false prophets identify false teachers and you'll be able to expose the darkness with the true light that you have and to expose evil like he commands us to but it's about knowing Christ and there's a lot of people too in these last days because people are waking up their understanding um, what's going on. They're starting to kind of realize and, and sense something's wrong. So there's many false prophets too out there that are leading people astray for a lot of people are, oh, I'm waking up. I'm starting to see, okay, I want to get right with the Lord. Boom, Satan comes in and, and leads them off astray and they think that they're following the Lord. They're not. So it's truly getting in with God, truly knowing him and knowing him by his word, spending time directly with him alone. Um, you know, just getting by yourself, getting with him in prayer, fasting and, and getting in the word of God and knowing him. It's knowing him and knowing his fruit, knowing what he commands. So that way in the spiritual battle, while you're out in the world, you'll be able to stand rooted firmly in Christ and be able to pick out the truth and live in the truth and, and know his true commandments. So just wanted to go over these couple scriptures. So powerful. God's so full of love. We serve the God of love. King of kings, Lord of lords, and he's coming soon. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys.